the initiatives of the highways department in aligning uh, with the construction 2.0, yeah, three folds. Uh, uh, first thing is the uh, innovations. The highways department has a very good tra tradition. Uh, we maintain uh, since the uh, start of the highways department a research and development division. And we promote innovations within that division. We collaborate with uh, university and uh, laboratories to uh, innovate on a, a number of things. And one of the focus now we are having is the, in the uh, researching into new construction material, uh, including the paving material, which is one of the specialized areas of the highways department. And in fact, uh, other than uh, paving materials, we also uh, find uh, research into a number of different areas. And one of the uh, recent achievements uh, of the uh, Research and uh, Development Division is that uh, we have collaborated with the uh, Hong Kong Productiv Productivity Council and uh, we uh, in, in invented a uh, recorded a robot arm. The uh, purpose of that robot arm is in fact towards construction safety. Uh, we did a lot of uh, construction work on operating highways. And the uh, present uh, workers have to uh, put uh, uh, traffic uh, cones onto the uh, highways in order to direct traffic away from the work sites. So that process creates some uh, risk to the workers. And uh, our robot arm can enable that process to become the, done by uh, in an automatic way so that the, the workers is no longer required uh, to go down to the highways and uh, face the risks. And in fact, uh, we are very pleased that uh, this innovation has uh, won the gold prize of this year's uh, International Exhibition of Innovations of Geneva. In past years, we have uh, um, the experience of uh, delivering a number of mega-scale projects. And in this, uh, our experience together in our previous projects del delivery cycle is that uh, the uh, contractors and the uh, employer and including the engineer uh, using the traditional uh, uh, GCC form of contract. They are more focused on, uh, uh, or the, the, the projects are delivered in, in a uh, protective manner. The, the meaning is that they, they will try to protect their own interests, uh, sometimes in a way more than in the interests of the project. And then comes the uh, NEC form of contract. Um, we saw a lot of uh, success of this type of uh, contract form. Uh, in delivering projects in other countries. So we started to look at it, whether that can also uh, work in Hong Kong. So we tried uh, using that uh, new form of contract uh, in a smaller scale in uh, other contracts some 10 years ago. And then uh, we, we, we gather experience and uh, find that uh, that can have a lot of um, advantages. First of all, is that it, the contract form emphasizes the uh, collaboration among the contracting parties in the interest, overall interest of the project. And so the uh, parties are working all together to achieve a common goal. And that contract form enabled this to happen. Um, it also can uh, help the uh, contracting parties to think in, in a very innova innovative ways uh, to achieve their objectives. And the contract form, uh, like the uh, ECC option C, the, the pay and gain share, incentivize the uh, contracting parties to look at areas that can help to achieve uh, the project objective uh, while uh, giving the uh, the pain and uh, gain shares uh, to, to share the risk among different parties uh, more equitably. And so that uh, while, ob ob uh, obtaining or while achieving the objective, 
the contracting parties also benefits. So the uh, collaborative approach and the uh, um, incentivi incentivization of uh, the parties to make the best or uh, to gain the best benefits for the projects, uh, we think that this is a more sustainable way of delivering uh, mega scale projects. And so the, we decided that we, we, after gaining experience of the smaller scale projects, uh, we, we, we would like to see that uh, that advantage can uh, also uh, be achieved in the uh, mega scale projects like the uh, central column route. The NEC form of contract, uh, we first tried to use this new form of contract in 2010. And at the time, it, uh, we experimented it with a uh, relatively sm small scale contract, a, not a very complicated one. The order of uh, the contract uh, cost is about 200 million Hong Kong dollars. And the uh, result is uh, quite uh, promising. It can uh, achieve the, uh, uh, the, the completion target uh, within our, our ex uh, expectation and the cost is also within budget. And with that, we tried uh, the uh, other types of uh, options, uh, including option A, B and C. And uh, also uh, besides ECC, we also uh, try using term services contract. And, and that uh, we gained quite a number of experience. And with that, uh, we think that the advantage of the uh, NEC form of contract can uh, help us to better deliver our projects. And so we decided uh, to uh, use it in a uh, larger scale projects like the uh, C uh, central, central column route, which is a more complicated project and multi-contracts uh, project. And we, we uh, see the benefits of using the NEC for contract in uh, uh, helping the contracting parties to collaborate more and to uh, enable uh, the uh, contracting parties to try to find ways to achieve the common objective. And uh, so we, we hope that the uh, NEC form of contract can help us to deliver this mega scale type of project on time and within budget to the required quality.